Hello and welcome back to Sonic CTM, CSS Steel Second Season, this time for episode 20, Dolce, as the name suggests, it's, it's tied around the dragon character introduced for this one, and according to the Wikipedia description, I should be very worried about this, so we, we, I'll explain more later, but let's just start before the usual opening in 3, 2, 1, click. So, they're finally going to get around to trying to flesh out Dulcie's character. Yes, and supposedly, as it says here, it says that Dulcie is summoned to a dragon mating ground. Oh, no. So... It makes sense in context. I can imagine that. <laughs> yeah. Look, like I've said before, Dulcie was kind of a last-minute addition, you know. Apparently, it was the network's way of trying to get it so that there'd be... You know, more of a bounce between the male and females of the cast and whatnot. And look, I will give him this. Having Cree Summer voice her was genius. Cree Summer is an amazing voice actress. I just find it funny that Cree Summer ends up always voicing those kinds of characters between her as Dulcie uh... and her as Elmira Duff in Animaniacs. And uh, the the second pink in the brain season. Yeah, that was weird. Speaking of which, Pedro, uh, are you interested He's in the new... Of course. Yeah, ben Hurst is working overtime on this also, series. Pat, it, Pat Lee and Ben Hurst seems to be the, the main uh, writers for these, with Len Jensen taking over for only two episodes. Hmm. <laughs> Can we focus on can we focus on Sonic and Uncle Chuck? Well, I mean they've had more episodes, and to be fair, Dwibs, it's better to at least try oh, to flesh Dulcie. out It's better to try and flesh out Dulcie than just have her be an hmm. annoying short stock in terms of character. <laughs> Dulcie, you ruined the moment. Okay, that was supposed to be a key, I guess. I recognize that sound effect from Wrath of Cortex, Jesus Christ. Well, stock sound effects are, uh, good news. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, that's sort of... Oh, wow. As for a PJ, the robotic actually has a pretty cool one, albeit a bit too dark. Hey, the remind... uniform looks more. That the pajamas look more official than his actual outfit. Fun fact, actually, <laughs> believe it or not, he was originally pitched as the potential mascot for Sega as Teddy Roosevelt in pajamas. Oh, <laughs> oh now he changed it to a purple vest. Well, it's like a dressing gown, I think. Yeah, I think that's a robe. We call it a dressing gown. Still keeping the the uh, the head. <laughs> now that is a death tornado spin. Yes, a tornado is carrying a swap bot. There's plenty more where that came from. It's just as annoying. Let's see this music. It's very energetic, I'll give it that. Uh Okay. Ew, more Nickelodeon gunk. And this is on ABC. <laughs> And again, it won't be the first time that ABC also, took something. To, it won't be the first. Well, actually, it won't be the last time ABC took something from Nickelodeon. Also, Jalua, you were actually close to say Baldy McNose there. Ha 
<laughs> How nice of How you. How do you keep track of time, considering everything is darker due to the smog? Okay. Clocks. Robotnik was frozen today. Hey, good job, Dulcie. <laughs> and so Robotnik died of sudden um... hypothermia, yes. Yeah. Okay, to quote Batman Beyond, he's too stubborn to die. Come on. Come don't, don't, on. don't crash, Bonnie, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. What's the whoa. Weird So what's he going to do? Exterminate the dragons? I well, mean, I think that's the idea. Remember, he had originally intended to roboticize all of them, as was established in the past episode. He did mention that they seem to be more powerful than the other Mobians, so a key potential to, to thwart him. That was Uncle Chuck's line. This. Maybe he'll get more. <laughs> I could see he was always my actual celebrity there, I wonder. Also, hey, Roder. So... Guess you've been reduced as the medic of the team. So, does this mean that Dulcie has officially accomplished more than Antoine throughout the entirety of the series? Like, she actually did a good this time. What? What the heck? <laughs> What just happened? It's the mind control stuff from before, it looks like. Hmm. Hey. Why does the music sound so sad? I wonder. <laughs> oh, I get it by the pouch. She sleeps more like on a possum. Ah, I get it. Dragon, then the dragonfly. Uh -huh. And somebody who wants to murder a bunch of dragons. Hmm. Hmm, sounds familiar. Sonic head to the dragonfly. No, please. I was thinking more year of the dragon. Why did you have to ruin that? Well, sure, yeah, dragonfly was on screen at the time. Dang it. There's a dragonfly on also, screen all how... the time in also, the also, E.T. Uh, also, how paradoxical it is that Sally wears more clothes when she has to go to sleep. Huh, yeah. Guess she figures to let it all out and be proud during the daytime, but I guess she gets cold at night. I guess. I mean, it is colder at the night. That does make some sense. <laughs> Stop, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're finally got a straining order. <laughs> <laughs> But we have the rest of the season to finish. <laughs> yeah. All five or six episodes of it. Yep. You can cope with that, I think. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Also the scene for just that decided... weird smile at the end. <laughs> also that, that scene for the scene thing the music just decided to give up for a moment. 
I mean, yeah, I mean that that's my that's my main issue with some scores. Something like that could seriously happen if you're not careful. Oh, thanks, sir. Oh, whoa, smoke. that that's uh, that was nice. Sir. Interesting smoke screen. Huh, interesting. How convenient. Oh boy, puberty. I'm not sure it's the best play for fucking, you know. So basically, Dulcie's in heat. Good to know. It, it, yeah, it's like TMI. It, it's like that that stupid episode in Star Trek Enterprise where the pole enters the uh, that period that Vulcans have during puberty. No, not oh. during all the, the old, all their lives. Yeah, but we had like that one moment where it becomes super in heat. Well, to be fair, it wasn't Enterprise. Didn't make that up. No, I know, it's just that, you know, it was still distracting. Also, you know, to be fair, this is, place... It, is, is it better or worse than Hold the on, Waves. Hold on. Hold on, Waves. Yes, Hiro? Also, to, to give this episode a little credit, this place seems to be just where the eggs get laid, not where the dragons get laid. I guess. Oh, my God. Also, Waves, yeah. uh, also, Waves, remember, I really don't have that much problems with the finale, so I don't know what to tell you. Well, I'll, 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 I'll yeah. say more later after this. What? What the hell are you talking about? Star Trek Enterprise, Joe. Oh, that. Okay. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you more after this. <laughs> Sonic, that, that's yeah. not the, 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 what you're supposed to say. At, at least use the door next. They were blocking the door. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh dear. Huh. That's unfortunate. Elsie just left. That's not very helpful, is it? No. And she was the one mode of transport by air? Oops. Don't worry, we've got <laughs> land speed. Did, did, did a rotor actually help repair the entire plane in season one? The plane got lost on the uh, stage True. Thing. True. Also, I don't think we've seen rotor this episode. He it was. It was actually packaging Ooh, the, the medicine for for those oh, knees. Okay. But yeah, it was still a minor role. Roller in his head in this season is getting shot big time. Well. Damn, that may be the most the I'd heard of Sonic Oh, baby. wait. <laughs> oh, an actual egg. Very elastic. <laughs> yeah, that is the most robbery egg I've ever seen.
Um, I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> Next color. <laughs> Also, this dragon is a earring on a horn. Okay. Let me check cool voices there, might as well. <laughs> Thanks, Sonic. Yeah, but hedgehogs don't run fast either, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's about late to actually ask for realism in this series, Sonic. <laughs> Well, I, well, but when I say well, I mean... Uh... <laughs> well done? Yes. <laughs> uh... Yes, screw, robot screw robotization. I want to eat the dragon and get its powers. Hmm, consuming hey, a if... dragon and getting its powers. Hey, if um, if District 9 can, win, can get such critical acclaim with a plot point like that, so can I. Also, I think Joe was referencing Elder Scrolls V. <laughs> I mean, District 9 did it too. It's just... Oh! No, she fits just fine. <laughs> it's thanks maybe to animation Dulcie, Maybe Dulcie it. sucked in her stomach? I guess. Poor Bonnie, she's risking her life constantly for this. Wow, Dulcie's yeah. actually getting pretty good at this landing. Relatively. True, yeah, if she crashed, the baby might have been killed. Okay, Bonnie, we need you to sit on this egg and warm it with your rear, okay? She's mostly metallic. Oh. Don't exactly, Bonnie. exactly, Tio. She's metallic. That means she can literally heat it up. I think I'm, I think I'm probably better suited for the job. <laughs> How's he going to handle a dragon? Run away, run away. Probably. Actually, run away. yeah, come to think of it, Antoine has surprisingly not been in this episode much. Good. Hmm. You're gonna eat those words. Very soon. Also, I checked there. It doesn't really seem to be a specific role for that female dragon we saw, but there are several additional voices, so. Mm. Oh, now she can breathe fire. Yep. Maybe this also happens in adolescence. Mm hmm Again, like I said, it's kind of what happens in Dragon Heart 3. I have to give Dulcie credit. She actually has been relatively effective this episode. Thanks to your VR visor, I guess.
Yeah, sure. About that. Don't. You wanted him to stay there. <laughs> How precise <laughs> of the timing. <laughs> oh shit, he's firing it off! <laughs> what happened? Did they did they put on the DNP? Kind of, I guess. Oh, come on, Robotnik. You were actually close to say I hate the hedgehog. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, I mean, eventually the side the hedgehog is over. We need some uh, film for it. Oh, it's hatching. Oh, my God. Oh, that's why tails. Oh, hey, Rotor. <laughs> Still no Antoine. Yep. Maybe, oh. maybe he actually was eaten by the cannibals. No pressure. Yeah, it's where yeah, you, you just have the entire lineage of your species now resting on your soldiers. <laughs> Enjoy. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, the same place he was looking for us all. Uh, do we actually meet twice. again? Do we actually meet again in the comics? Sir? Uh, well, again, the comics aren't the same universe as the show, unfortunately. They just use the same characters. And... Alright, in, in that the, case, the spoilers we want. Have any of the Archie characters shown up in the... The IDW? Wasn't there a huge debate a couple of weeks ago, the um, fact that the Freedom Fighters should have showed up, but we don't? They don't really know. I can sort of see why Sega are... Kind of a bit paranoid about touching that with a 10-foot pole ever since Ken Penders caused them to have to reboot the artsy line. Alright, as for this episode, it's fine on the long run, but it's it starts really weird, to be honest. It's like, oh, we needed that for the final slide, sure, why not? <laughs> hey, what are your favorites, Tio? <laughs> but uh, no, I have to admit Dolce actually became a better character at Young Visa, hoping it sticks for the end of the season. We'll yeah, see. I mean, give her, I gotta give her credit, she's effective and she's learned more about her abilities and hey. And she's less annoying. And giving her something like the weight of her old species on her is something to give her a lot more nuance and whatnot. And hey, this episode didn't have Antoine, which is surprising. I thought he was one of Ben Hurst's favorites, considering he wasn't, he wasn't even in the background. Up. Yeah. Nope. All right, the tuning in instead for the next one, which is called The Void. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See ya. See ya. See ya. <laughs>